Sure, good morning. So this comet is uh, a comet that's only been known since this past summer. And right away, when astronomers put their data together, they realized that this new comet was on a trajectory or an orbit that is not bound. So it is going to make one close approach to our sun in our solar system, and then it's going to head right out of our solar system and onto another part of our galaxy. It's the first interstellar comet that we've known about, and so all the telescopes in space and on the ground are taking this opportunity to collect as much data as possible so that we can compare it to the comets in our own solar system that we do know very well. So uh, just this past week is when that close approach happened, and the images that we're releasing today from Hubble uh, include the one of the closest approaches of this comet to the sun. Patty, this is fascinating, really, but what's the evidence of this? What's the proof that this comet does not come from our own solar system? So it's all about the orbit and the observational data. And so the wonderful thing about the solar system and everything in the universe is that they follow simple laws, including the laws of motion. So when we look at the objects in our own solar system, they are all following orbits that are bound to the sun by the sun's gravity. Uh, when we plot the orbit of this comet, right away we could see that uh, the orbit was not bound. So this thing is zooming from way outside of our solar system it's going to make just one close, close approach to the sun. It's actually not even that close. And then it's going to zoom right back out. So it's really all about taking observations and fitting them to uh, the theories. Okay, we're, we're intrigued. How can we view the comet and for how long? So... It's really close to its closest approach now, uh, but it's actually a very dim object. It's not a naked eye object, so you can't go out and look at it at sunset. Um, it's an extremely challenging object, even for the best amateur astronomers over the next few weeks. Um, very experienced observers with very big telescopes will probably be challenging themselves to try to see it um, through the early part of next year. But the best way to really get the great view of this comet is to go online, uh, space-based telescopes like Hubble and some some of the ground-based telescopes like Keck are taking this opportunity to take lots of images and data and they share that with the public right. immediately.